A patient today mentioned that in the past when taking medications like antidepressants, they had significant withdrawal symptoms if they forgot to take the medication on a, a weekend trip, for example, or if they missed the dose by a few, even a few hours, they had significant withdrawal symptoms. And they had been feeling depressed, so they wanted to consider going back on a psychiatric medication, but they were pretty worried about having withdrawal uh, if this happened again. And so we wanted to be very thoughtful about what medication we used. And one of the things that we discussed was that in general with antidepressants like SSRIs and SNRIs, the shorter that a medication's half-life is, the more likely it is to cause withdrawal. And a half-life for a medication, um, what that means is it's the amount of time that it takes for someone to clear half the medication that's in their system. So for example, Effexor, which is venlafaxine, has a half-life that's very short. It's like five to 10 hours for the main medication, and it's not that much longer for its metabolites. Um, Effexor, which is venlafaxine, um, is one of the worst medications in terms of withdrawal, or at least I'll say that if someone is gonna have withdrawal, um, if they go on that medication, they're likely gonna have it again. Paxil, which is paroxetine, also has a pretty short half-life. It is a medication that's more likely to cause withdrawal if someone takes it. Um, if someone is pretty vulnerable to this phenomenon, then I usually recommend a medication that has a much longer half-life. So a Prozac, which is fluoxetine, or Trintelix, which is vortioxetine. Uh, Trintelix actually is not an SSRI, but can really be helpful um, to um, treat depression. Those medications have much longer half-lives. So their half-lives may be anywhere from 65 to 100 plus hours for the medication um, or it's met the medication's metabolites. And so because of that, it's a lot less likely to cause serotonin withdrawal if someone decreases a dose or misses a dose by a few hours. Um, and often a, a provider, if they're going to be making a change or stopping those medications, they can do so pretty quickly because they basically will self-taper because it takes a while for the body to clear them. So we discussed that using one of those medications with a longer half-life um, may make sense. With all that being said, it does, that doesn't mean that a specific medication is more or less likely to help someone with their depression. So there certainly may be times where it makes sense to use a medication that has a short half-life um, that may be a little bit more likely to cause withdrawal if it's going to be more effective in alleviating a patient's symptoms. And as this can be pretty complex, that's why it's very important to talk to a medical professional or a mental health professional if you believe that this information pertains to you in any way.